if Overcooked has ruined all of your family friendships, as well as your actual friendships, then perhaps moving out can restore them and give you a little bit of faith in the world with some couch co-op loving. It's a couch co-op extravaganza available for PS4, which is what you see on your screens, as well as Nintendo Switch, PC and Xbox One. It's also published by Team17, who have kind of made their name for these crazy physics-based uh, couch co-op experiences. You play as a removal team for one to four players to get in, grab that furniture and chuck it in your van as quickly as possible. Safety and health are not really things that you're concerned with with this game. So if you're going to chuck a sofa through a window, might as well do it properly and go full hog in. That is part of the craziness of moving out and it works really well because it kind of scales depending on how many people are playing but also um, like the level of difficulty that you want to provide yourself with a really nifty assist mode, which I'll get onto later in the review. You'll pick up different objects and depending on the size of them will depend on the amount of people that kind of need to lift them. So you might pick up like a microwave or something from the bathroom and you'll just need one person and you'll kind of run out to your van and chuck it in and you're off and away you go. However, sofas may require two people, ginormous like L-shaped ones may require even more, and it just depends on how you kind of work around the different house and the order of things that you pick up as well. We'll then decide whether or not you can actually fit them all back in the van at the end, because that will require a little bit of jiggery pokery jigsawness to get them all in. Um, plus, you'll have optional goals on the side, and I say optional because they're like extra stars should you want them, um, but it's normally things like smash all the windows or don't smash any windows or um, like put the dog in the van at the same time because there'll be like chickens and pets all kind of running around everywhere or like pick up the basketball and score a hoop in the net um, on your way to victory. You're also measured in terms of time limit as well and that scales depending on the type of difficulty level that you've gone for as well as the amount of people that you've got uh, going into a level as well. Um, but really, you can just have a good laugh trying to get round all of these different levels and working together. It is far less stressful than Overcooked and far less like um, one person can ruin the whole thing by being really rubbish, if that makes sense. Because like Overcooked, you can get super competitive. And then um, I've played Overcooked uh, too, where there's like a fifth person who's like barking orders like, uh, yes, chef. Um, Gordon Ramsay style kind of sh shouting at everyone you don't need to do that with moving out because it's a bit more chill a bit more low key yes there's plenty of stuff that you can get on with uh, and entertain yourself and to be fair you don't always have to actually work together specifically in the early levels um, where you can kind of run amok and do your own thing but um, yeah there it's just less pressure and that makes it more accessible to people who are just starting out in gaming, people who don't game often. Moving out will be a much more easier sell to get into, maybe build up to the uh, family ruining Overcooked afterwards. <laughs> Part of that comes from the really cool Assist Mode. Now, Assist Mode, what it does is add on a variety of different options that you can kind of tweak on and off. The first one is that it gives you longer time limits. The second thing is that it turns off some of like the hazards per level as well. So there'll be things like ice slopes or like flamethrowers and stuff like that. And it can turn them all on and off so that you can just have a better run at things if you need it. The other thing that is more interesting if you've got people that aren't kind of very good at working together <laughs> is that you can make the heavy items that require more than two, or like two or more people to lift them all carryable by a single person. So if you've got, say, like a young person that's uh, like a kid that's not quite got the gist of it or an elderly relative who's having a go and is not very good, you can kind of go, go on, Gran, you grab that sofa and we'll deal with the rest. And they can kind of slowly drag it out through the door. Uh, and doors are the biggest bane in this game because quite often you have to angle stuff to get through it. Um, that's all really good as well. The other thing is that uh, in assist mode, you can turn on or off whether or not items disappear when they go into the van. And that's key because sometimes actually the order of how you pull things out and where you then place stuff will decide and dictate kind of how 
you go around completing that level and whether you can actually get everything back in because you've got things like the co-op throw where you both have to throw together at the same time to try and like toss something further and get it over the top you can also combine that with a jump to get something further or higher um, and in different games you'll also have uh, sorry in different levels you'll have start to have like multiple uh, story houses and that's quite key as well because sometimes you might need to chuck something out of the top floor and get it into the van so therefore co-op throws become much more integral into the gameplay as opposed to just dragging things around and hoping for the best there's plenty of levels to play with there's also some stuff that you can then complete in an arcade mode afterwards if you do really well um and they're good fun distractions as well. And they're much more around being competitive and actually way harder than the rest of the game combined. Um, so if you're looking for some real juicy challenges, it's in the arcade centre that you'll find all of that, where they take a lot of the principles of how moving out works around the jumping, the throwing uh, and the, the co-op teamwork and kind of put it into a more of an arcade game styled setting as opposed to moving uh, out furniture. I adore the graphics. I really like all of like the little touches of things like when you're trying to get the toaster, but the plug stuck in the socket. And then when you ping it out, sometimes that plug socket will interact with something else and then cause issues. Like the fact that different um, objects kind of interact and can change colour or catch fire or um, like have smoke billowing out of it. I like the fact that the pets are running amok everywhere. And that there's ones where you're like in a farm and then they're chasing you around. It does an awful lot with a very simplized com or a simplistic concept, I guess. But it really is a fantastic entry point into co-op um, physics-based gaming. I think that will do really well for the family, especially if you've got youngins and you need that assist mode on or people that just don't game very often. That assist mode will really help you out and make them feel like they're not a burden. They are really helping out in general. It will keep you fun and in plenty of entertainment for many, many hours. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It's become part of my regular rotation in the stuff that I do uh, around coach co-op. Not that I've had many people on the couch to play with. <laughs> uh, but uh, thankfully, PS4 share play works. So that's good. <laughs> um, so yeah, moving out. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. Two thumbs up from me. A written review over on highplanegames.com and definitely one to keep an eye out for over the festive period. Take care all. Bye for now. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a collection of media projects run by me. If you like what you see and want to find out more, visit patreon.com forward slash network. Your support can make so much more possible, be that a like, a comment, a share or a pledge. Thanks for watching.